Good night. Hello, students. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Hi. hello. Hello, good evening. Are you there? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Well, I think it was the my my volume. So, good evening. Do you listen to me? Yes, right. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. So, welcome, everyone. How are you today? Fine. Excellent. I'm fine. Awesome. So I'm glad to hear that. So it's Friday. You like this? Oh. You like Fridays? Yeah, I like. Yes, I like. It. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. That is how you know Friday. It's great for people. I was reading a, a kind of no report. But in the U.S., there was a question that said, um, what's your favorite day during the week? And I saw that most of the people who answered in that kind of survey, they said that they liked Fridays. That was a, a great day during the week. And one of them, like, not the worst, but the day that is not so common or good for them, it's Monday, perhaps because they have they start the week and they had to go back to work. But Friday is because it's a day in which people, you know, finish the week work and also they they rest or they have a weekend off, depending because there are some people that work um, on, on weekends, but there is no chance. But it's a great day, definitely. So welcome to everyone. It's actually a great opportunity to be here and practice because it's one of the most valuable parts about learning. And also, I just want to congratulate everyone for being here on time. And that's, the, I love their, you know, their responsibility to be on time. And I know that some of some classmates are coming home and they are getting ready to start a class. So it's a great effort, but also it's a very, and valuable, valuable uh, sacrifice that you, all the time you try. Because the most important thing is that we can learn English and we can maximize our skills. Well, and before that we start a class, I just want to ask you what we studied yesterday, what we did. Yes, what do you remember we did? I need a volunteer who tells me, teacher, with the, this one. I'm just going to say that one. And don't forget to have the camera on. It's important to have the camera on. Remember that in support, monitors, you know, the participation of the students in class with the complete names and also with the, you know, with the cameras. So I will say that in Spanish. No se les olvide que pues, es importante tener la cámara encendida. Uh, there were some of the requirements that we said at the beginning, right? So we had to have the camera on. So I just want to tell you that. 
Well, so I, I can see that. And I just want to ask you, um, what we studied yesterday? What, what topic you remember we studied? About music, like and like. Oh, music. Well, mm, I don't know. I different area because music, TV shows, movies. Um, vocabulary about entertainment. Yes. No question. We do. Yes, that's correct. Definitely, we just have a great conversation about music because we're talking about the importance of music and also what kind of music you like and what kind of music you dislike. And this is, um, you know, kind of interesting to talk about music. All right, so we continue today uh, having a feedback about the last class. Look at the next part. Um, look at this one, we talk about likes and dislikes. We can see the CD with the different kind of music like rock, others, classical, jazz, gospel, rap, r and pop, and country. We just like separated vocabulary related to TV programs, movies, and music. And then we just uh, answer some questions about music in a kind of conversation. We talk about rap and, you know, Eminem was mentioned as a very famous singer, rap singer. And also we talk about it. And we had the chance to like talk about the object pronouns, me, you, him, her, it, us, and then. We ask some questions about music, like, do you like rap? Does he play the piano? Do they like the Beatles? What kind of music do you like? What does he play? And who do they like? We talk about questions with WH questions we do. Do you like, do you travel? Do you do this one? And so you could appreciate here some exercises about this topic and the use of do and does. Do for I, you, he. I'm sorry, I and you in that case. And the third person's does is for he, she, it. Does. He, she, it. And the plurals were, you know, we and they, right? So we used part of this one. And then we could complete an exercise related to, you know, do and dust, and also the possible answers in that case. And now we will continue with the last two exercises because we still have some minutes to reinforce this one. Choose the right pronouns. Is he marrying Layla? Yes, he's in love with, and you have to choose. And um, this one. You have to choose this part. You have to choose between the object pronouns. Uh, me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. So you have to uh, check and also complete the sentence with the appropriate object pronouns, right? That's what we had to do. And I will give you a couple of minutes to do it, all right? It's pretty easy and also we will remember about the object pronouns. You can check them because we started in the last activity and then we socialized. Let's do it.
Okay, almost ready or not yet? Not yet. Ready. Someone else? Okay, in progress. All right, that's okay. Okay, so ready now? Hello? Hello, hello? Are you ready? Or not yet? I'm always teacher. Okay, let's socialize the first one and I can and check this one. I need a volunteer for helping me to check the first one. And um, who wants to do it? Number one. Okay. Is he marrying Leila? Yes. He is in love with her. Yes, because it's related to the lady. Yeah. And her is Leila. So the object pronoun that case is Leila. So with her, excellent. Great job. Number two, volunteer for this one. Your son is making a lot of noise. I will ask him to be quiet. I ask him to be quiet, right? Because him is related to the song, right? Excellent. Number three. Well, there's an, an order, but well, <laughs> the ones you can see. Yes. Next. Please, will you ask Robert to come in? Sorry, I don't know him. Okay, uh, I don't know him. So him is related to Robert. Yes, that's correct. It's related to him. So that's the way. Number four. Next, volunteer. So you can see in the chat all the answers for these exercises we are doing. Next. Yes. Anyone? Okay, where are my glasses? You are wearing it. Mm, glasses, Pluto? Mm, you are wearing them? Yes, perfect. Because we're talking about glasses, we're talking about Pluto. Pluto. Yeah, you're wearing them. Great okay. job. Yes, great job. So you can see the chat. And that's the real answer for this one. Next sentence, volunteer. Do you like apples? I love them. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Congratulations. And you sounds very like, you know, very active, very happy. 
That's the way. Next. Next sentence. Why is he always talking about Lisa? He obviously, he obviously likes her. Okay, so her is Lisa because he obviously likes her. Excellent. Next. Where is my book? Oh dear, I've lost it. Yes, it's singular third person. You can see that. I lost it. It is related to the book. You can check that part. Well, um, before we go on to the next exercise, I just want to ask you, uh, do you have a question or a doubt related to this exercise? Oh, it's that clear, so tell me. Yes? Any questions or doubts? No? No. Okay. I'm happy then. Okay, we continue with the rest. We will continue with this, this exercise. Is that Nancy's new boyfriend? Don't ask me, ask. And then the number two, three, four, five, and six. We will continue with this exercise. I want you to concentrate, concentrate in this exercise and select the best object pronouns, okay? I will give you a couple of minutes and then you try and then complete it. Let's do it.
Okay, ready? Are you ready? Not yet. I'm ready, teacher. Ready. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's check the first one. I need a volunteer for the first one. Okay, is that Nancy's new boyfriend? Don't ask me, ask her. Yes, because her is related to Nancy. Related to Nancy. Yes, correct. Number two. Number two. What is the title of that article? I'm afraid I can't remember it. Correct. It is related to the article. In that case, I, I can't remember the article. So you because the person is asking for the title. That's correct. Next, number four. Number, yeah, number three. Someone? Look at John. He seems so happy. His friends offered him a guitar for his birthday. Oh, great. So he seems so happy, right? His friends offer him because we're talking about John. A guitar for his birthday. That's correct. So in that case, the number three is him, right? Number four, look at this, a volunteer. What are you going to do with those old papers? I'm going to recycle them. Recycle them? Okay. Yes. Them is related to papers. Correct. So recycle them to recycle them, that's great. So them is related to papers. Excellent, congratulations. Number five. Yes. Hello. Let's see the latest Spielberg movie. I have already seen it. The latest, okay, uh, Spielberg. Yeah, a Spielberg movie, um, there is in it, right? Yes, singular third person. Yes, that's right. Next, number six. Next. How are you kids? I haven't met them for age. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, can you repeat the sentence? Okay. How are you kids? I haven't met them for age. For ages. Yes, that's right. I haven't met, met them for ages. Correct. So, because we're talking about kids, we're talking about them. Yes, that's perfect. Number seven, or the last, the last sentence. Help me with that, please. Have you met Alan and Have Alan you met and Alan and Tim? No, I have never met. Them. Kim? That's correct. Congratulations. So you can see the example. All right. So we have seen here the exercise. And it was definitely great. So we will continue um, with the next uh, topic for this class. But I just want to ask you, 
if you had a uh, have a question or, or doubt related to the previous exercises no no questions no okay let's continue well we will continue guys talking a little bit about the use of wood for invitations this is for example when we invite someone uh, to do something or go out or um, something specifically look at the following exercise here we have a couple of questions that i want you to socialize with your partners do you like tv do you like music videos do you play a musical instrument what programs do you like what videos do you like and what musical instrument do you play? Well, it looks interesting because, because we have uh, some important you know, likes, especially when we are talking about television, music, entertainment, movies, and everything. We have seen that uh, nowadays in the cinemas that are great movies and people have become crazy going to movies, watching some nice movies. And also, have you gone to the movies recently? Have you gone to the movies? I'm yes, to yes. see Barbie. Oh, really? You saw the movie? You like it? Yes, I like it. Okay, you saw this movie. And people have taken a lot of pictures in malls because they want to, I mean, look like, you know. But this movie has become very famous nowadays. Okay, so I want you to answer the following questions and with your personal information. And then I will give you a couple of minutes to work in the breakup rooms. You will socialize these questions with your partners. Remember that it's important that you explain uh, your topic. Do you like TV? Yes. You have to explain a little bit more. Do you like TV? Yes, I like TV. I watch TV like two or three hours. You have to explain. Try to use your knowledge to have a communication or uh, have a conversation because that's one of the ways. If you can explain, explain, because that's great and you practice English, okay? I will give you a couple of minutes to answer these questions and then we will work in breakup rooms and we will socialize these questions and answers with your partners. After you finished these questions, it says write five questions about entertainment and entertainers or entertainers. Then ask and answer your questions in group. Do you like, um, can you mention a, um, a nice series? Can you mention a nice series? Okay. Okay. Uh, do you like the theories? Uh, serious? Oh yes, I like the series. Oh, uh, what kind of uh, music do you like? Or what kind of movies do you like? Um, or what kind of TV programs do you like? Um, what do you think about horror movies? Oh, they are great. What do you think about Fast and Furious? Oh, it's great. What do you think about the, the circle? So you had to think about other questions related to entertainment. And you will ask these questions to your groups. Okay, answer the questions and ask or write at least two, three, five sentences.
Are you ready? Yes? Okay, so in this moment, we will break in the breakup rooms and you will have the opportunity to interact with your classmates about these questions. And also you will add more questions that you have uh, written about entertainment. That's what we had to do. Okay, I will open the breakout rooms and you can start, you know, socializing with your partners. Remember that this opportunity is to speak and practice. Okay, look at the screen and accept the invitation to join in these groups. Okay, please join the groups and also uh, Diana, Henry, Oscar, Eric, Roberto, Diana Beatriz and Catherine. We are in this moment in the groups, accept the invitation to join and practice. Remember that your participation is important in this class. Okay. So if you don't go to the groups, you won't practice. So it's important that you do it. Hey, you? Um, I guess, yes, I do. I like mm, yes what um thinking um movies too. Um okay, do you like music videos? No, I don't. I like to music but no the see music video. You prefer listen. And you said I do like music videos. I don't like because actually the music videos is too much. Oh, I don't like. Um, maybe. I don't know, say como many, como algunos. Uh, some. Uh -huh, some, some. Okay. Do you like music videos? I don't remember the name. Guadalupe. Uh, okay. Uh, depends. Uh, because sometimes uh, uh, there are some videos that are boring <laughs> and the others that's okay. Yeah. Do you play a music instrument? Mm, no, no, I don't. I don't have time for this. <laughs> And you? Do you play a musical instrument? No, only uh, I'm como a chiquita. 
How, how do you say más pequeña? Um, smaller. Smaller. Oh. Yeah, and piano. Pero I I out for rotto because I don't remember this the yeah como rotulado. I only this. Hmm. Okay. Um, what uh, problem? Uh, and for Catherine? No, I don't. But mm -hmm. I like to listen to music with the guitar. It's nice. Okay. And for Lorena Araceli? I think you know. <laughs> I'm liking playing the piano. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, what programs do you like? Um, okay, in my case, uh, science programs, uh, news programs, and uh, documentary about animals' life or uh, science life. Okay, and Catherine? Yes, uh, I like the program, history program. And for you? Mm -hmm. mm, I don't see programs actually, I don't like. Maybe it's como, maybe on my friend C. But me, no. Okay. And for Lorena? Um, no sé. ¿Y qué, ¿Qué, qué instrumento? Ajá, le gustaría. Ajá, ajá, es casi lo mismo. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Ahora le pregunto yo. Vaya. ¿Do you like TV? Yes, I like watch TV. ¿Do you like music video? No, I don't like. ¿Do you play a musical instrument? No, I don't play a, a musical instrument. What program do you like? I like see Me Caigo de Risa. What video do you like? I don't like watch videos. Okay. What musical instrument do you play? I like to play the drums. Creo que así se dice batería, vea. Drums, no sé. Um, no sé, ahora vamos a googlear. Yes. Mes, mes. Yes. yes. Okay. 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 Nos falta Gerardo. Quizás no tiene audio. Yes, I'm here. Ah, sí. Thank you. <laughs> Le pregunto yo si quiere. Ok. Do you like TV? Yes, I really like it. O si quiere una, una y una, Wendy, para que pra practiquemos. Ok. Do you like music videos? Music videos, well, yes, I consider 
that, that I like it, but I prefer just to listen to music because I consider that the video is, well, in my case, it's necessary to watch the, the video. For this reason, I prefer just listen to music, but yes, I like both. Okay. Uh, do you play a musical instrument? Well, actually, no, I can't. At this moment, I can't, but uh, maybe the last year I, I, I was learning, but I can't continue because I don't, I don't have enough time to practice. I was learning to play the piano and the guitar. Okay. What program do you like? Or TV? Mm. Well, a program I don't I don't I don't have a favorite but well I just I just I just like watch videos on YouTube. Sometimes YouTube it show me um a lot of programs, but I don't have favorites. But at this moment, I don't remember. I don't remember the the name. But yes, sometimes I I watched. Okay, what videos do you like? Well. I prefer or, or I watch a lot of kind of videos, for example, but I prefer to watch videos about the news or sometimes the 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 bicycle and the astronomy. I Electronic. I already answer all. I'm sorry, would you repeat, please? I already answer all. Contestó todas las preguntas de solo. Sí. Solo una falta. The last one, the what musical instrument do you play? Do you play? Currently, no, I, I don't. I don't play instrument music. Okay. Como lo hicimos, teacher? Yeah, excellent. <laughs> I like this. Uh, it's a good conversation. Definitely, it's great. Congratulations! Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we will go back to the main session, and um, we'll see you in a moment. Okay, well, so, um, well, I think all of us are right here. Right? Congratulations for the work done. Definitely, that is a great, um, uh, great conversation. I could listen, uh, great conversations. Uh, most of you discussing a little bit about the 
the topics. And that's what I love. I want to listen to um, all of you speaking in English. That's one of the advantages because it's pre-intermediate. So that's mean that you had to communicate actively, work in activities, and that's excellent. So congratulations for that. Thank you, teacher. Okay, that's one of the ways. Well, we will continue uh, because of the time and talking about would, in that case, would is called an auxiliary verb. When we talk about would, we talk about the uh, auxiliaries, um, especially focused in, on invitations. When we want to invite someone to go out, when we want to invite a person to do something, we use would because it's a very formal way to request something. We have a would, the verb plus two, plus the verb, as you can appreciate that. Look at the example. Would you like to go out on Friday? That is the question. Would you like to go out on Friday? And you can see would goes at the beginning and then the personal pronoun and then the verb that in this ca case is like, like to go, like to dance, like to go out, like to play, like to eat, like to study, and then the complement. And there are three ways to answer in a formal way if, if you accept, for example, would you would you like to go to the movies? Would you like in Spanish is like te gustaría because it's a very formal way to request something. Would you like to te gustaría? Would you like to go out? Would you like to do this? You know, as an example. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. There are three ways to answer. The first one, yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Yes, I really like to go. You can see the examples. For example, imagine that we are in a in the school and then we say, you know what? Would you like to go to, to the beach? Would you like to go to a party? And you say like, oh, I want to go. Would you like to go to a party? Yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Just, I really like to go. So you can check that in. And also look at the next question. You could say, teacher, but what happened if I don't want to go? If I refused the invitation, what can I do? In that case, what you can do uh, to refuse is in this way. Look at the example. Would you like to go to a soccer match? And you are like, oh my God, I don't want to go to watch a soccer game. So would you like to go to a soccer match? I like to. Everything is going, going well. I like to, but this but is like, a, okay, stop. But I have to work late. You refuse the invitation or you make an excuse because you don't want to go. So I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money because you don't want to spend money at the cinema and watching the movie Barbie. So you say like, oh my God, uh, I prefer to save money. You say, I like to, but I need to save money. Um, I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Interesting. Well, that's the way. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. And you can check here the contractions. There is something interesting about the wood that wood can be used as a contraction. Uh, you can say I would is similar to say I'd is I plus apostrophe plus D. You can see this example. This is a, a contracted form. I would, or I love to. You can see a D is, is because A, I plus apostrophe plus D is the contraction of would, is the same. I love to, or I would love to. I'd really like, or, or I would really like. So we can check the contraction of would 
in a D. Interesting, by the way. So um, I like to go, but I have to work late. I would like to go, but I don't have money. I, I would like to, but I, I am sick or I am tired or I am hungry. So you give an excuse or you honestly, you don't want to go. That is what we call um, the use of wood. It's very simple, but we're gonna practice with the following exercises. I will. I would like to ask you, do you have a question? No? Okay, why don't we try working with the first exercises? Respond to three invitations, then write three invitations for the given responses. In that case, what I want you to do is to respond the invitation, you can respond like positive or negative. It's your option, okay? Is that okay? Okay, so I will give you a couple of minutes. Okay. Can you send a picture to the group about this exercise, please? And meanwhile, I will take the advantage to pass or check the attendance list. I will really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the picture. Okay, I will look for in a moment the, the attendance list. Let's check the attendance list. Ana Isela Janes? Present. Ana Ruth Perez? Present. Carlos Ernesto Flores? Carlos Ernesto Flores? He's absent. David Alejandro Rodriguez? David Alejandro Rodriguez is absent too. Uh, David Rafael Ramos? Present. Thanks. Uh, Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Thank you. Diana Cristabel Melendez. Diana Cristabel, absent. It's in the chat. Oh, she's there? In the chat. Okay, thank you. Please do me a favor when someone writes in the chat, it's because I cannot watch the chat in this moment. Si escriben, me dicen, por favor. Thank you, by the way. Eric uh, Javier Ventura. Present. Thank you. Uh, Fiorella Alejandro Crespin. Present. Uh, Gerardo Jose Tepas. I'm here. Henry Alejandro Flores. Henry? Present, teacher. Oh, he's there. Okay. Um, Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos. Ingrid? Oh, she's absent. Uh, Jorge Francisco Lopez. Hey, present teacher. Okay. Uh, Juana Margarita Sea. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Catherine Suleima Pocasangre. Present. Okay. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Katy Jordana. Discourses. Mm. Thanks. 
Laura Lizeth Peña. Present teacher. Thanks. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Mirna Yasmin Portillo. Mirna? It's absent. Oscar and oh, Toniel Cruz. Present. Thanks. Uh, Reina Jael Arevalo. Arevalo, she's absent. Roberto. Carlos. Present. Present. Eh, Sebastián Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, Tatiana Abigail Rodriguez. Tatiana, she's absent. Ursula Adriana. Present. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Hernandez. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Okay, that's great. Okay, just to conclude in a briefly way, because we need to finish part of the exercise respecting the schedule, we're gonna check the answers in a briefly way. I have a ticket to the baseball game on Saturdays. Would you like to go? What do you think? I would like, but I have to work. <laughs> okay, all right. I would, yes, I would. I love uh, baseball. So you had to answer it, you know, one of the ways. Number two, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Yes, I really like to go. Okay, excellent. Yeah, me too. <laughs> nice, <laughs> especially dinner. We love that. Number three, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Yes, I will. Okay, and we can practice English. <laughs> That's right. Okay, number four. So remember that it's free to you to answer in a positive or negative way. Um, yes, I love to. Thank you. What do you think could be the question? Number four, give me an idea. What could be the, the question? Maybe... I would like. Would Would you like? Go, would you like to go to go to park? Would you like to go to the park? Okay. The park. Okay. Would you like to go to the park? Yes, I would. Would you like to go to a party? Okay, that is an an idea, right? Number five. Well, I like to but I have to study. What could be the invitation? Would you, would you like to go a party? Ah, okay, would you like to go to a party? All right. At the night. <laughs> At the night. Okay. At the night. Yeah. All right, and the last one. Yes, thank you. I really like to see it. What do you think would be the question? Would you like to go to the movie? Okay. Excellent. That's great. Well, students, uh, congratulations for the work done. I really appreciate the effort. We will continue practicing and I hope to see you the next week. I know that we need to practice all the time and I have seen that you are doing an amazing job. Continue studying a lot and your English level will go to the top, right? Have a beautiful night, have a beautiful weekend and enjoy it a lot. 
Thank, thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Good night, teacher. Good night, Robert.